Hello everyone and welcome back to mini game building. I'm here in another mini game I built many moons ago. Uh, today we're going to be building the school board. So how the score is tallied and how it's displayed to the players. I contemplated using a sidebar based one but I thought I would use the same one I used in this game which basically runs on clone and clones these giant numbers onto a school board. Now the way it works it uses this little piston pusher. So the other bit of the system we're going to have to build is it's really laggy in here because there's a lot of clocks going off. Uh, it uses this little piston pusher, this little hopper clock thing. So if they have the point this torch comes off and it allows the items to flow from one hopper to another and when this comes over here it activates this little row of command blocks here. So we got, I'll get rid of that one. So that adds one to the points. This one sets a block of redstone. I'll show you where that sets in a second. Uh, is this, this is spawning a random mob by the looks of it. That's, it's spawning a zombie just at the, at the point that's been captured. Uh, that adds five levels. Again, this one works on an XP shop. And then we get a short delay. It sets the block then to wall. And then sets it back by the looks of it. So it sets it. This is interesting. I can't even remember how this works. So it sets this block here. Okay, when it's wool, it allows it allows it to move on. I see. So I've, I've pressed it once, and then basically it powers, comes around, turns that on, and you get this set block. So it's going to set a block three away, which sets it to right here, and then that pushes that redstone block along. And these are the clones. So that is the position of my item and my scoreboard. So it will take one of these and knock it off over there. And then obviously you've got, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then a piston can't push any more. So then this, it does some clever stuff. And then it starts using this one, which does all the way up to 20, which I think is what I'm going to go for again. And then at the end of the game, this is all the end game. This is all the resets and all the TPs and all the fireworks and all the fun stuff. So today we're going to build this section over here or something similar to. So it's running on a, a little clock which checks if they have the point. So if the point is theirs, you know, when the, when the beacon goes blue, uh, we're going to build this bit and we're going to try and start on the piston pusher. So uh, I'll see you in a minute when we get back over to the, the game we're actually working on. See you shortly. Okay, so we're back here. We're just at the end of this little timer. So the little cooldown. So at the end, it resets all the scoreboards. Uh, plays the explosion. Destroys that. And then we got this new one here. So scoreboard player set. I need to change that to data which is just it's just a, a thing I use it's become force of habit now it, it means nothing unless you know what it is to call it back later which I, I've done in the past and I've not known what I've called something so I set it to this imaginary player I'm sure there's a better way of doing it in this version now but I haven't used it yet <laughs> so we're gonna build Somewhere over here. Try and get out of the way of it. We need a bit of room. So we're going to need more hopper clocks. Hopper clocks everywhere. Wonder why my games never run very well. Uh, where's the center? That's about center, isn't it? Okay, so there's that into that. Uh, there you go. I have a block of diamond. Get rid of this. This, this, and this. 
been so long I've forgotten how to actually make them. Simple as that. Wonderful. So, let's bring this over. Get our comparator. Coming out of there. So now we're gonna we're gonna split off one for red team, one for blue team. I have a tendency to color code certain things, but not other things, because I'm really confusing like that. Like none of that's color coded, but these are, and so is this. Let's go back over here. Just chuck one there. Chuck one there. And we don't need them. So we're going to come out of here, out of this, go into a repeater. No, do we need a repeater? We don't need a repeater, I don't think. Like I said, only go one block. We do need a repeater. <laughs> Pop one of them in there. Uh, we'll splay left, splay right. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. So this is going to come out. I'm going to go to a couple of lines like that. Then we're probably going to come this way. As you notice, I don't make things small. Uh, that needs to be one of them. And then it needs to go into one of them. Into one of them. So in here, we can get rid of the majority of this. So it's scoreboard players that we want list. If I can type. Uh, it's a blue side. So blue has A. So it means if blue has A, then this will output true. No one has it. Good sign. Uh, let's take that one from there. Pop that one in there. Change this one to red. So red has a out of there. Uh, back onto there. And this, hopefully, I, I'm probably not giving myself enough room now. Gets into a block. Into a block. And then into a redstone torch. So these are on. So they are stopping the next hopper block I'm going to put in here. And just put him there. Okay, one there. And there, one there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I don't know if there's enough room. Okay. Bear with me two secs and I'll go see if, I can, see if I can find a way to squeeze them in. Okay, so we're back. I had to um, had to extend them out a little bit because otherwise they were going to hit each other. So we're just going to finish off these real quick. So we come up into one of them. So we have a comparator out of there. This is me trying to remember this now. That into there. That doesn't look right, does it? <laughs> Let's try. So we compare it out into a block like this, I swear. Into a dust. Into a dust. And somehow I gotta get some pistons in there. How did that work? Or are these these are the pistons. Are they both sticky or was one sticky? That is not where I wanted that to go. On the side. On the side. Okay. So one like that. I pop that in there. So if I kill this torch, I've put 16 items in there just as like a placeholder. So once... Okay, there we go. It does work. I wasn't far off on the sides, was I? That's wonderful. Let's get the torch back on there and stop that from annoying the hell out of me. Oh, there we go. So, what we'll do is I just do the, the same on the other side. And then we'll carry on with the command blocks that are coming off of it. Okay, hello everyone, we're back. Uh, I've just finished building the other one of these, so now we have a matching pair. Do it one for the red team, one for the blue team. So, when they have the position, 
this will output true, turning this off, allowing the bits to go from one side, causing the piston to shift to the other side, calling it to shift back. So every time it gets to there, and on this one there, it is going to output to a couple of command blocks. There's going to be, we might, are we going to fit them in here? Yeah, we should fit them in here. We should be able to have one there and one there. So this one is ready. So we'll get rid of this. Uh, what are we going to do? Can we do it as an objective or? No, we'll just we'll just add it as um. So we want to add. Actually, do I need I need the objective first? Don't I? Let's create the objective. Add point point pointy points. Uh, add points, and that's going to be. Is it going to? No. I forget that there's like a million different things now. Is it gonna it's gonna let me delete it? There we go. So that should be a dummy. No points already exist. Well there you go. So <laughs> So scoreboard players scoreboard objectives add or is it got to be one for each team? No, it should work. Add points. And we'll have red team. I think that might not be the right way of formatting that. Objectives. Objectives. No, I'm doing it the wrong way, aren't I? Scoreboard players. Add red red point red points one. So it doesn't like that. Why doesn't it like that? Scoreboard players add player. It's glad I put in the objectives today. Points one. There we go. So that's what we wanted. <laughs> So let's just copy that one, and then we will bang that in there for now. So far, and now I've got to change this now. Haven't I? Scoreboard objectives, set display, on sidebar, points. So they have two points somehow. So if I get rid of some of these, then that one. I get rid of some of them, and. If I go scoreboard, well, I can't remember I'd use my own format now. Set red has it. If I I'm making a mess of this, am I? Okay. How am I operating this? This doesn't look right, does it? Okay, if I am, um, just kill that. So somewhere else, I've um, got a points tally going on. <laughs> Where are you then, points tally? You're over here, aren't you? It's this one here. Yeah, there it is. Wow, so I didn't even have to build them. No, I did. I don't like the way this one works. Okay, I don't like this one. This one. Let's kill this for now, and let's kill this for now, because I want it to be added down here. Let's get rid of that. Pop that one in there. Thirteen point one. Yes. So where's my reset line? Is over here.
Okay, so if I go over here and hit the reset button. There we go. I got rid of that. Okay, so now that's, that's working. Now we got to do is build the clock or the, the actual school board itself. And then we'll work out all the clones that we're going to have to use to clone all the numbers across. I was going to have a, a four-way scoreboard, which obviously means I'm going to need each number in every orientation. So that should be fun. But we'll, um, we'll crack onto that next time. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.